welcome to simplifying tech and programming so in today's session we are going to check how we can create a web project by using apache netbeans ide and how we can uh, deploy that web application into tomcat application server or the maven and ant based project so let's see the agenda first like uh, what we are going to cover so first we will uh, download and install uh, tomcat uh, server that is a uh, latest version of tomcat that is 10.1 then we will configure the web project into netbeans and then we will create one maven based uh, web application we will create one servlet and uh, we will try to deploy that servlet into tomcat and try to run that web application so we will uh, try another format of application or another build type of application web application that is a ant based web application and then uh, we will run through the browser so let's get started so go to our favorite browser and uh, download and install tomcat server so we have to go to this uh, tomcat 10 application server so we can see there is a tomcat 11 is also available but that is the alpha version so we will go with the tomcat 10 only so the latest version is a tomcat 1 point sorry 10.1.13 okay so uh, you can observe one thing here like uh, in the latest version of tomcat so tomcat is migrated from the api so javax dot star to jakarta dot start so this thing we, we we have to keep in mind so while uh, developing the our servlet or web application so we have to use this package jakarta dot start okay so here uh, you can see lots of distribution files uh, so tomcat is available to install into c format also but it is available as a windows service installer also in today's demo we will uh, going with this uh, so we will install the windows service installer so let's go to this download folder so this tomcat 10.1.13 is downloaded let's double click on this to install so this window pop up let's say next say i agree so you can check mark this host manager and uh, we will see some examples also that is also we need in order to debug our applications so here you can see server shutdown port that is a minus one this is the main port connector port that is a 8080 windows service name we will keep as a default then uh, we need to provide the username and password in order to troubleshoot our application in the netbeans so you have to provide any username and password and let's say next please select the path of the java 11 or uh, higher so in my case i am going to continue with the uh, uh, gre 1.8 version so it's automatically picked up uh, java version so let's say next so it is asking for a path of uh, installation so choose any comfortable installation directory so in my case i am choosing this uh, pools and uh, inside this folder tomcat 10.1 let's say okay okay so c tools tomcat 10.1 and let's say install okay so tomcat setup is completed so run to apache tomcat let's say finish so it is running apache tomcat okay so our tomcat is installed so now uh, we will create one web application and we will configure that application into tomcat application server okay so let's go to netbeans so we are using this uh, id that is apache netbeans id so this is the basic id so just we have to go to file and a new project here we want to create the web application so first we will try with the maven so java with maven uh, option is there category is there inside that there are different uh, types of projects are there so we have to create the web application okay so click on this web application say next so now it is asking for a project so maven project we will see so here we can give maven web project then uh, group id as a com dot uh, s tag then uh, maven project so this is fine so let's say next so now it is asking to select the server so in our case there is a no server so we need to add this server so click on this add now we have to choose this tomcat apache okay say next then choose the server location go here and uh, give the tomcat installation path so that is uh, we have choose c tools and tomcat 10 okay let's say open so here it is saying that the specify server location folder does not valid so we have to go to this directory and check what is happening so go to tools and go to tomcat record oh so it is saying that you don't have the permission to access this folder so you have to give the permission so what we have to do go to properties and it is a read only so remove this read only 
and say okay okay so now select this again now you can see the folder structure click on okay so now uh, our server location is fine now so just give the username and password that we have provided at the time of installation and uh, let's uh, finish so now the server and uh, Tomcat version so Jakarta 10 version is there so let's say finish again okay so this is the uh, web application it is a uh, created this is the Maven project so what is the structure of this project so first of all uh, this is a project file that is a build configuration file that is a form.xml and then we have web pages here we have index.html here we have web.xml inside the web inf and uh, here we have source files here we have de dependencies that are loaded and uh, java dependency other sources this is fine okay so pom.xml by default uh, it, is, it has added uh, the dependencies so now we have to create one solid in order to create the web application we need to create one solid so here you can see the option uh, as a solid like uh, if you're not able to see here then go to other and uh, here you can see there is a solid option so then next so it is asking to create new servlet so type as a hello servlet okay so let's say next so add the information into deployment descriptor so we need to mention this into web.xml that is what is the url pattern and what is the servlet name okay so check mark this let's say finish okay so it is a created hello servlet and uh, it has created some uh, method also that is a process request method inside the hello servlet let me zoom the font okay so we have increased the fonts let's uh, maximize this so you can see there there are some errors so what are that errors package java, java .http solid does not exist so why it is does not exist so that i mentioned in the earlier video so if you can see this uh, latest version of tomcat has a javax package moves to jakarta package we just need to copy this jakarta package and replace the javax with jakarta okay and that's it so this uh, solid not solid exception and whatever the solid packages are there that is like belongs to jakarta now in the latest one so let's save this just we can, we can add here solid hello solid and here so let hello servlet so here we will write the channel name okay so simplifying tech hello servlet at uh, this uh, context path so this is just we are printing the printing something onto ui so let's save this okay so now let's run this project so right click on project and let's say run so it is started running so it is asking for username and password for tomcat so provide the username and password let's say okay so now you can observe one thing uh, so our application is running so start method is called and this, our tomcat is running on port 8080 so now let's verify this go to services go to servers uh, go to apache tomcat and here you can see the web application directory is created and you can see this maven web project so our this is our web project so that web project now is a part of tomcat server okay so tomcat is now hosting our project so now let's run the servlet file okay so go look at this uh, hello servlet and here you can see this text so right click on this hello servlet and say run file so it is asking for context root let's say okay okay so it is saying that simplifying text hello servlet maven project okay so this text we have copied from here this simplifying tech hello servlet at request dot get context path so this is the project name that is a context path so this text like by using this so we can able to run this project into browser okay so by using maven so we can able to run this web application so you can observe this context route so that is a local host 8080 maven web project and then hello servlet so this hello servlet is nothing but a url pattern into our web.xml so you can see this is a url pattern as a hello server so this can be used while running your application okay 
so now tell me we can create another type of project so that is a and project and we can try to run the web application from and project as well so go here and choose the category as a java with and so now uh, inside this java with and you can see there are more options so go to java web and you, here we can see web application so click on this web application let's say next and here it is saying so we have to say and web application and let's say next so here it is asking uh, we have already selected this server as a tomcat so now and web application let's say next and here it is asking for framework so we are not using any of this framework uh, we are using just we are running this simple web project so let's say finish we are not selecting anything okay so here this is the ant web application let's close the previous project okay so this is the ant web application so here uh, there are like uh, the structure of the project is like uh, this web pages in web inf and uh, here there are uh, source packages here uh, we can write the servlet and here there is a configuration file so just we have to create the servlet file so go to source packages and let's say new and here you can see option servlet so here uh, you have to choose the class name we will keep same as it is new servlet and just say next here you can see uh, there is option add information into deployment descriptor descriptor so just click on this and say finish okay so now you can see uh, the servlet is created as a new servlet but you can see there is a error so so here like i mentioned earlier so we have to replace javax with jakarta because new tomcat version is uh, supporting jakarta only fine so our error now is no longer remaining so just here just type as a simplifying tech and that's it so just we have to click on this uh, new solid application and uh, we have to say run file Let's say okay okay so here you can see the browser is loaded with uh, our uh, maven uh, sorry our ant based uh, web page that that is the same tech uh, ant project uh, for the servlet and ant web application yeah so here the, this is the ant web application and here this message we have provided here simplifying tech ant project okay so this way we can uh, create the web application by using uh, netbeans id and by using uh, maven and and type of uh, build projects so stay tuned for further interesting sessions and thanks a lot for watching